A jeweler is murdered, another is shot, and police are looking for two suspects. It happened in Westport. News 8's Allie Reed is live following developments in this case. Allie? And the investigation is very much still ongoing. Police have not determined the identity of the suspect, but they are reviewing surveillance video as well as other documents. Now, the shooting took place around 9, 10 o'clock, right up there on the second floor. That's where the jewelry store was. And as you can see, right next door is a sports club. And police say at the time of the shooting, that club was open. People were here working out. So they're hoping somebody who was working out at that area might have seen something suspicious, perhaps seen the suspect, and will give police a call. Police say 65 year old Westport resident Yucatel ZV was shot and killed during an attempted robbery at his business, YZ Jewelers, between 9 and 10 o'clock last night. The cruelty with which the crime was committed, I think, shocks us all. No one more shocked than Mr. ZV's family and friends. I was in shock. I was home visiting my family um, for the weekend, and my mother woke up this morning and I heard her, you know, screaming down the hallway to get my father, and I woke up and she told me, and then I, I came over immediately. She has known Mr. Zevi and his wife for more than 40 years. She and many other friends and family were gathered inside the family's home to support his grieving wife. She's having a tough time. You know, she lost her soulmate. He, they were best friends. Uh, they were madly in love to, to this day, and uh, she's having a tough time. Police say Mr. Zevi knew his killer. He had met with a suspect on Wednesday before meeting him again last night. Both times it was to discuss a business transaction. Police are searching for the suspect who they describe as a white male, approximately 5 feet 10 inches to 6 feet tall and in his mid to late 40s. While police continue their investigation, Mr. Zevi's friends gather to grieve. I always measured every man that I dated against him, actually, <laughs> especially the Israeli ones. Big, cuddly, warm, very warm, had an infectious laugh, um, just a wonderful, wonderful human being. Mr. Zidi's family has already been through so much. He and his wife lost their daughter to cancer a few years ago. They do have one son. He's actually been here on the scene helping police in their investigation. He and his wife are expecting a baby any day now, so Mr. Zidi was about to become a grandfather. Now, as for the other man, Mr. Zidi's business associate who was shot, he's from New York City. He is currently at, New at Norwalk Hospital, and he is said to be in stable condition. Reporting live in West Port, Allie Reed, News 8.